Welcome to WP Easy Card. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to set up and install the Facebook Pixel system. Uh, if you're familiar with Google Analytics and their web hosting and their web page tracking system, uh, you'll be familiar with the Facebook Pixel. Uh, it allows you to track visitors as they move through your store. Uh, you're able to see what products they click on, what pages they click on, and the paths they take. Uh, it's very similar. Uh, but the nice thing about the Facebook Pixel system is it blends nicely with their marketing campaign. So if you plan to use our Facebook and Instagram uh, feed in order to sell on those platforms, with advertisements it's really critical to set up your event tracking first so that you know you're getting good uh, analytic data and then Facebook can use that information to better serve your ads to users so let's take a look uh, the first thing before you set up our Facebook system is you're gonna wanna have a business account with Facebook and to go there you're gonna go to business Dot facebook dot com and if you haven't created an account go ahead and create an account and you're also going to want to have a Facebook page for your business um, it helps to have a page dedicated just to what you're selling uh, gives you a place to post content um, and updates and Facebook can then tie that into uh, also your analytics and some other things so set up a business account get a Facebook page running for your business and when you come into the business manager uh, I would give yourself 10 minutes to walk through some of these pages because there's a lot of information going on in here um, this is where you're gonna set up your ads this is where you're gonna set up and look at analytics um, you're gonna set up your pixel code uh, later on you'll set up your catalog and you'll bring in all your products uh, so that you can create ads so it's important to kinda look through here and just familiarize yourself with all of the settings uh, you can also set up your billing system so that when you pay for ads it's all automatic um, and so a lot of things happen here uh, what we're looking at right now is just your page tracking and we want to see as customers flip through your site where do they go now easy cart also uh, has set up Facebook pixel code so that it tracks purchases so what we've done on easy cart is we just track the uh, actual transactions so that Facebook knows there's been a conversion and we leave the page tracking up to you uh, because if we added it we would only track our store pages and really you want to see tracking pages throughout your entire site even if it doesn't have to do with WP Easy Cart. So for that, what we recommend you do is we install a new plugin. And so I'm just going to go to Plugins, Add New. And I'm just going to search for Facebook Pixel. And they have an official plugin uh, for this. And so you'll just install this official plugin. And we'll go ahead and activate it. and when you're done you'll see it in your list here just the official pixel tracking code and all it's going to ask is for your pixel ID and we haven't set that up yet so to create a pixel what you're going to do is you're going to come to your business manager and you're going to go to pixels and you can see I have a couple of pixels test pixels here running uh, we're going to create a new pixel and so I'm going to go add new data source Facebook pixel and it wants us to give it a name so I'm just gonna say uh, WP oops, test pixel and it says what's the URL so I'm gonna jump over here and I've got just a test site running and so I'm gonna paste in the URL so you would give just give it a name give it a URL we'll create the pixel and that's all there is to it. All it's going to give you is some code. And 
and it says you can connect several different ways you can email it but we're gonna just grab the pixel code ourselves and so it, right here is the manually install it and what we're looking for let's scroll through here this is the actual pixel code and you can copy it to a clipboard uh, what we're looking for is this pixel ID in here so I'll just copy this and we'll just hit OK it's not a big deal we're, we'll get to that pixel code in a second uh, now it also wants to know what type uh, what events are you wanting to track uh, we want you to make sure you track e-commerce and retail and we'll connect this to EasyCard as well and this is all the different things that it can find. It'll check out initiate purchase, an actual purchase, when somebody adds to a cart. All these things are going to be tracked now on your website. And so let's just go ahead and hit done. And you'll notice when we're finished, we now have this new pixel code. And we want this pixel ID right here. It's a string of numbers. So I'm just going to click on that and copy it. And that's our pixel ID and so I'm going to paste that into my website. Okay, now that's all we need to do. It's automatically tracking pages. Now we want to enter it also into EasyCart. So I'm going to go to WP EasyCart settings and I'm going to go down here to third party and we're going to go to Facebook Pixel Setup and I'm going to paste that pixel ID here as well. Now we are tracking e-commerce data so add to cart, initiate a checkout, uh, successful purchases those are also going to be tracked as well. And so now if I jump over here and I start flipping through my site uh, every one of these pages is now being tracked by uh, Facebook. Okay, And you can see it says no data at this time if we refresh it or give it a little bit of time you'll start to see hey it's been active um, it's picking up that code you'll start to see some graphs show up if we give it some time um, and now uh, we've got an active pixel and that's what we really need in order to move on so we, we now have events happening and we'll also be able to click on analytics and give it a week give it a couple days you're gonna start to see some data show up for that pixel. Okay, and so this is the first step is to ensure that you've got good data. Now if you use Google Chrome uh, a lot of times you want to see is it working. Google Chrome gives you a nice extension to actually track this and if you've never messed with extensions they're just little extra add-ons to your web browser that show up up here in the corner and so I'm gonna to go to the little three buttons here and I'm gonna go down to more tools and extensions and these are things you can add on to Google Chrome and if you click on extensions and open the Chrome Web Store okay we could search for Facebook Pixel and we're gonna install this Facebook Pixel helper this isn't necessary uh, but it's it's a pretty cool little feature and you can see now the it's been added to Chrome and it shows up right here and you can see it's grayed out okay so let's see what that looks like if we jump over here to our website and if I refresh my home page you can see I have two pixels showing up here okay and it's tracking your page view for this pixel ID if I go to the store and I look at my products you can see oh I'm looking at my products okay so it's picking up all these page views and you can actually see what's happening here okay and that's the same data that Facebook's looking at if I add something to my shopping cart I've got a page view I've got an add to cart if I start the checkout process okay what's happening in, in Facebook pixels it's initiated a checkout so we've got some really good information we now know that our Facebook pixels working and that's what we're looking for is that data to start coming in and so what we've done just to recap we've gone to plugins and we've installed the official 
Facebook page pixel tracker and then we also went to easy cart settings and we installed under third party we installed the Facebook pixel here so now we're getting add to cart checkouts and all the e-commerce data okay and you can do the same stuff with Google Analytics here uh, very similar you just need your Google code so two systems you might want to initiate both of them even uh, that way you can really get good data on what visitors are doing on your website so that's step one get your pixel code set up uh, we're gonna walk through setting up the Facebook feed uh, creating a catalog of products and we're also gonna set up a video on how to uh, advertise and create an actual advertisement in Facebook so keep watching thanks